What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Having a time in the kitchen. Vibes in it up as usual, you know? It is late. Just done making a wicked recipe here. As promised, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me with some teasers on there. So it is all about the sorrel, yeah? Christmas time in the Caribbean is about the sorrel and ginger beer to a lesser extent. And champagne, yeah, we're mixing up some sorrel and champagne. Oh, it's sparkling. You want some sorrel or what? <laughs> Let me vibes it up, man. <laughs> Don't mind the dirty stove. I haven't had time to clean it yet. And I'm going in with about one cup. Of dried sorrel. If you're using fresh sorrel, I find that the dried sorrel is a bit more intense. So you may want to use about two cups of the, um, the fresh stuff. I've got here one small um, stick of cinnamon, a slice of ginger, and we're going to go in with some sugar. Now typically when making sorrel drink, you want to go in with a couple cloves in there and some orange peel if you have orange peel, which is a dried orange peel. Now. Since I'm going to be using this with, well, <laughs> it's not champagne, I'm cheaping out and going with sparkling wine, um, champagne. I, I, it's just by the region, that's why it's called champagne. But um, I don't want to overpower it, overpower it with that clove. I find the clove will, and again, it's up to you. If you want to use it, you can certainly do that. I'm going to go in with some fresh orange slices in there. All the exact measurements will be posted in the description below. Um, top it off with water, bring it up to a boil and let that go for about five minutes and then we're gonna let it steep for about, I don't know, for about an hour, two hours until it cools down naturally. As it comes up to a boil, I'm just gonna stir it because I really want to allow, and this is the reason why we added the sugar at this point. If you wanted, you could squeeze, and I mean to say I should have, squeeze those orange pieces to get that orange juice in there. That sort of citrus kick will give it a nice flavor. And the reason why we put the sugar in here, as I was saying, is to make sure that sugar melts and we get that nice sweetness. And we don't want it to be overly sweet, that's why I kind of held back on the sugar, but you can adjust that as well. We want that to come up to a boil, as I said. It's been going now for about, I don't know, about six, seven minutes. You can see the orange slices have started to take on that, uh, that rich, bloody red, intense color. That is what we're looking for. And your kitchen should have that sort of spiced aroma as well from that, um, that cinnamon and the ginger and the sorrel as well. Remember, no clove, but you can add your clove if you want to, if you want that original something. I'm gonna turn it off now, put the lid on there and let that cool down naturally. So it's probably gonna take about two hours to cool down, enough time for it to steep. If it's your first time making sorrel or it's your first time using dried sorrel, I just wanna show you guys something. The dried sorrel will rehydrate and it will pump back up. So if, it, if you notice this, that is quite normal. Still cooling down. Pretty much want to strain this off. I'm going to strain it a couple of times. You want to get the... <laughs> one of those sorrel things, petals went back in there. So that's one of the reasons why you want to strain this off. Discard this. The strained sorrel is in my serving pitcher now and it is nice and chilled. I would highly recommend not adding ice to this. Later on in the video, you'll see me add, and I'm using frozen grapes. You can be mindful if you're using frozen grapes when serving it in the champagne glasses or whatever glasses that you're using to tell the people that they are frozen um, because you don't want anyone chewing and <laughs> trying to eat a frozen grape, right? Um, cheap, bubbly. Nothing too expensive. And all we're gonna do now, and again, I guess the point I was trying to get to is 
prior to serving it, that's when you want to add the sparkling wine or champagne to the mix so it retains a sort of um, bubbly aspect to it. I would also recommend getting some slices of oranges, toss it in there. If you got some cranberries, toss it in there. Make it nice and fruity and, you know, looking good, man. All we're going to do now is just pour that in here. Ooh, making a mess of things, but you get the idea. Just to get that whole bubbles and everything going. So there you go friends, my take on a bubbly, festive sorrel drink. I've got here some frozen seedless grapes. That's just to keep it nice and chill and I'm still making a mess. Hope you guys have a great holiday season. And enjoy the drinks man. Sips. <laughs>